Hi, welcome to my channel. We are now on episode 19. This time I traveled to Cavite and visited Desmarinian Municipal Cemetery located in central Desmarinian's town. In today's grave tour, let us remember and revisit the rise and fall of Cavite's once most wanted criminal and public enemy number one and his final resting place. Leonardo Malihan Manisha, alias Nardong Puti, was born on March 25, 1925 from Barangay Sabang in Dasmarinas, Cavite. According to local Cavitenya, siya ay binansagang Nardong Puti as he usually submerges to mods to elude police arrest. Manisha has long list of criminal cases including illegal possession of firearms, kidnapping, armed robbery, and murder from 1948 when he was just 23. In 1953, Manisha was first captured, convicted, and jailed but managed to escape in July 1955 from Philippine Constabulary custody from Amos Cavite. In 1958, Manisho was recaptured in Imus and was sentenced to 182 years jail time in Montenlupa. However, in October 1969, after 11 years in jail, he again escaped and took refuge in hometown in Desmarinas. In the morning of October 10, 1971, a combined force of NBI and PC led by then NBI agent Epimaco Velasco was assembled to hunt Manisha shortly after discovery of his hideout. Manisha was pinned down in a highway between Cavite and Nobeleta but refused to surrender where NBI and PC agents opened fire and killed him instantly. He died on a Sunday at the age of 46. Two versions of Nardo Puti Kilabat ng Cavite films were made in 1972 and in 1984, wherein in both films, Manisha was portrayed by late action star Ramon Revilla Sr., where both are success in local box office. In the next episodes, we will post the video of our recent visit of Manila North Cemetery for the graves of Fernando Po Sr., FEJ, and Andy Po. Later in this channel, please watch our grave tour at Libingan ng Mga Bayani in Taguig City. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. See you in our next grave tour of the famous episodes.